Something interesting happened to me this week at work. Um, I'm an intern, a junior doctor, first year on the wards, uh, a bit of a baby in the hospital, and um, it has nothing to do with a carrot. But I was just kind of thinking about it while eating this carrot. And it's essentially this, this whole year um, has been pretty challenging as an intern, as it always is for everyone ever being an intern. You often are trying to just play catch up. Uh, everyone else on the team seems to just have a better understanding of the next steps in people's care than you. And you just constantly have this feeling of catching up. You're just trying to catch up. Uh, and when I say you, I mean me. I'm getting this constant feeling of just needing to catch up. But just this week, I have had this sense change, this feeling change, a change in my, in, in the way that I feel in, in my work. And it's just, I feel, I'm feeling less stressed, less trying to catch up because I'm getting things more. I just, I get it. I, I, I see the intuition behind so many decisions that are being made much clearer than I did before. And I realized that actually I've, I've read about this before and it was in this book. Well, this one um, is the version that my dog uh, actually read, but it's the book Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. And he's a Nobel Prize winning um, economist and you know he's an expert in behavior and human behavior and um, a psychologist. And he talks a lot about system one and system two thinking. System one thinking being the pattern recognition, instinctive, intuitive, thoughts, two plus two is four, you know, it comes straight to your mind, it's it's ingrained, it's, it's full of heuristics, full of shortcuts. Whereas system two thinking, that's effort, that's heart, that's what takes energy, that's what interns start with. Um, and it is cognitively demanding and you feel exhausted at the end of every day. Whenever you start a new job, it doesn't have to be medical, it could be any job. And just now I've started to figure out that I'm starting to get the system one thinking taking over a bit, which eases the cognitive load, which is such a nice feeling because I can now see a little bit clearer and think a little bit quicker, but it comes at a cost. And we'll talk about that at the end of the video. Anyway, I feel like junior doctors, medical students should be aware of type one and type two or system one and system two thinking uh, to catch themselves. Cause there's, you know, Everyone does system one thinking. Everyone instinctively does pattern recognition thinking. That's what brains do. And the first principle of thinking, trying to understand things at a like really basic level, the systems two thinking, uh, which takes a lot of energy and you know it's all you know you're asking why 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 all the time. That kind of thinking it's draining. But you need to be aware of which one you're using because it can be dangerous if you find yourself using system one thinking at inappropriate times. So a classical example would be, oh, this guy's got abdominal pain. It's referred down to his right lower quadrant. That pattern I've seen before, it's appendicitis. But it could be other things, right? Other things can cause right lower quadrant abdominal pain. And that's why you have to also use system two thinking and not just kind of buy into that first um, instinct, that first heuristic, that first thing that you have ingrained and, and pattern recognized, because there are things you haven't seen before in medicine. You don't have the experience um, to know all the different patterns that exist in disease. So you have to think about things from first principles sometimes. But I've been finding like, you know, when you're learning a new skill, that's very system two and it takes a lot of energy. So it's it's kind of nice to use a bit of system one thinking. So that's it for this short video. I'm gonna finish my carrot now. Um, and it was just to say that it is important to think about how you're thinking. Think about when you're taking shortcuts because sometimes even though it's instinctive to use system one thinking and to just follow the patterns that you've seen before, it, you, you need to sometimes break away from that new system two thinking uh, and, and kind of be holistic and realize that um, things can be red herrings. You know, it might look like something, but be something else. And if you just go for the first thing and use tunnel vision, you could miss really important things. Okay, that's it. Have an absolutely lovely day and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.